Um, but basically, um, Esau is, um, is in rulership of the world right now, man. And, um, as a result, you got these people bugging out and it's not too long ago. And brother sent another video, um, sent in the chat, you know, like a worldly type video. And I watched it and it was a cool video. And, um, the video was going into, um, pretty much how women these days are unhappy. Okay. And, um. And that goes back to Esau uh, playing on these uh, women's minds, okay, and playing on uh, weak, weak-minded people's minds uh, to the end um, of them getting bugged out, bugged the hell out, and protesting and doing all kind of stuff that's uh, against their nature. Um, pretty much, when you go into the scriptures, uh, the scriptures tell you that you know Yahushua is the head of the church, okay, underneath him is King David. Underneath that is the elect men. Underneath that is the women. And underneath that is um is the children. Okay, there ain't nothing nefarious about that. It's just the order that the most I set up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, you need to have a leader, you need to have a follower, you need to have a a, a, a head of a group, and you need the the followers within that group. Why everybody in this society wants to be the leader and no one the follower, or well, maybe that's the reason why you got a whole bunch of people aspiring to be something that they're not and failing miserably and as a result being chronically depressed and it seems that that bug that depression bug has reached um the eastern world and here it is out there you got it to where in india these women are so-called protesting for um, equal rights now i'm gonna say something about them women out there within india prior to this march and rights and whatever whatever they were looking for a lot of them women are supposed to be some of the most humblest most coolest women out there within the earth they're supposed to be like in tune with the vibration man they got their head covered that's a traditional custom by the way okay because when you see women <laughs> and you study when you study psychology and psychology of broads and women or whatever you want to call them one of the things that a woman's going to do when she likes you is to flick her hair out man and maybe that's why the mall side had it set up to where the heads get covered. Because you might be in a public setting and your woman's flicking her head all about because she's seen a dude that she likes. That's gonna piss you off. Um, but not to side, not too much from the um, from the from the from the from the, from the storyline. Okay, um, pretty much these are supposed to be the coolest women on the planet. Some of the coolest women out there on the planet Earth because they're supposed to be into what the traditional way of living. But whenever you got the devil in rulership, he's going to play on emotions. And what people mustn't do when they see a video like this one I'm going to push out there is not get emotional. You got to just see the thing for what it is, man. Okay, when you go out there into the into the jungle, you don't say, why is the lion the head of the pack? It just is, man. You don't fuck with that nigga. It might bite your head off if you do that. And the same thing goes for what's known as societal norms. Don't ask why the man is the head of the pack. That's just how God set it up. You start fucking with that. You're going to fuck with, with the fabric of life, man. And you're going to have problems later on down the line. Like a lot of these Western women are just depressed out, out of their minds, bugged out of their minds. Well, maybe this is the reason why. Okay. You're just going to stay in your lane. All right. So this is millions of women in India joined hands to form a, a 385 mile wall to protest. Okay, uh, it was 3, 3 p.m. on U.S. Day when uh, uh, Raki, I suppose it is, the 39-year-old teacher living in Kochi, some uh, Indian state, decided that she wanted to begin a twenty begin 2019 by doing something more meaningful, of which, when you read the scriptures, man, it, man, the thing of a woman, and I'm talking about a traditional woman, a traditional woman is a very, very important thing very important part of the culture okay to have a woman that's just into building a household 
But that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I ain't knocking that. Um, but this thing of me too on competing against a man and gender equality, that's not really within a woman's nature to be. Okay, check out the ancient cultures and the mothers of great men. <laughs> they didn't behave like this. <laughs> Let me put that out there again, just in case you missed it. The mothers of great men didn't behave like this. Okay, they were very much more feminine. Okay, they was into the ancient ways of living. And when you check out the children born of these so-called westernized women, these children are fucking crazy. And there's a thing out here that they say. They say the, the proof is in the, is in the pudding, pudding. Well, the pudding is these kids, man. Okay, they're all drugged up and crazy, man. Okay, these kids out here are drugged up and crazy because people got emotional, man. They got they got they got they got was they got fed what's known as a pipe dream. This is a pipe dream that you're gonna be equal to a man. The man is stronger, is athletic, whatever, whatever. But a woman is a woman. <laughs> Just keep things separate, man. <laughs> you can't make a lion into a lioness, all right? You can't make a lioness into a lion. Keep things separate, man, okay? Most size is about order. In fact, when you go into the scriptures, the scripture says that so that the most side is not the author of confusion, all right? You got to keep things separate, okay? And let everybody play their role. Children gonna, children going to be children. Mothers going to be mothers and fathers going to be mothers. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my tongue slipping me. Let me say that again. Children are going to be children. Mothers are going to be mothers. And fathers have to be fathers.